One of the most useful tools in Photoshop that is kind of tucked away is the Blend If tool. If you right click on any layer and go to the Blending Options, you have your traditional you know, drop shadows, outer glows and whatnot. But if you actually go to the Blending Options tab, you can see the Blend If section gives you these two options. You can blend this layer or the underlying layer based on its levels of shadows and highlights or darkness and lightness. So in this case, I want to blend this text with the underlying layer. I can tell Photoshop to blend the underlying layer back into this text from these levels. So as I bring the shadow slider up, more of these of the background image will kind of fill in place based on the highlights or shadows. And so you get some of that texture. But one of the most useful tools here, it still looks kind of rough like this. You can actually split these tabs if you hold the Option key down. You can pull just one end of that and you can get this feathered blend, which really does make it look like paint that's actually on this wall that's been roughed away. You do also have the option to blend only certain color channels if you're trying to get really technical. But another way that you can use this that you might not know about is if you're ever trying to remove a white background from something or a logo, um, it doesn't always work perfectly, but this is one idea that you can do. I can right click blending options and this time I can use the this layer section. I can just pull the highlights down so I can remove the highlights. So we're only getting these levels from zero to 240 instead of all the way up. But I do just want to make sure I kind of feather that edge by holding option and splitting the playhead. Uh, this is a interesting way to try to remove white backgrounds for certain cases. It, it's not always perfect. And those are just two examples of how to use it. Um, really, you can get, you can use it for technical or creative purposes. So it just allows you to remove based on the highlights or shadows and either remove from and blend from the current layer or from the underlying layers. On this, in this example, when I pull the shadows up, the dark portions of the underlying layer start to show. When I pull the highlights in, then the highlights of the underlying layer start to show through. And likewise, when I pull the highlights out of this layer, the highlights of this layer start to remove themselves. Or when I pull the shadows out, the shadows of this layer start to remove themselves. And you can pull from both ends and blend and feather from both sides really. So really interesting tool. My name is Justin Odisho. You can check out more Photoshop tutorials in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.